put 20 off-road vehicles on a closed course and you've got one hell of an exciting race. Closed course off-road racing is growing in popularity as trophy trucks, buggies and more battle for position and try to get to each turn faster than the next guy. To understand more about closed course off-road racing, we spoke with Jay McKinley, owner of the Whiplash Racing Series in Arizona. McKinley explained how they design a course for this type of racing, including the course they set up at the Whiplash Racing Firebird Grand Prix at Firebird Raceway in Chandler, Arizona. Making a long story short, the challenge was to make a course in the middle of this pavement. Most everything they do now is, is uh, pavement stuff. Years ago there were some dirt courses, motocross courses, and uh, dirt circle tracks out here, but there hasn't been anything done in the dirt in years out here. So our challenge was to, to put something together that was going to be fun, entertaining, and, and safe uh, using the terrain and the stuff that we had. So. Uh, my son and myself came out and, and uh, we were fortunate enough to get some equipment from Yavapai Materials and, and so we just created this thing trying to keep the racer in mind so it was fun, challenging and, and yet safe and, and uh, room for error. John Martinson of Phoenix, Arizona is the current Class 1 champ in the Whiplash Racing Series. We spoke with him about what it's like to race side by side against his competitors. It's much more destructive to race short course races than it is to race desert races because the vehicles will touch each other. And in the buggy, we don't have any fenders, so imagine two Indy cars running into each other, and that's what you get when you hit with two buggies. So you'll have a lot more carnage in this short course than you would in the desert. In the desert, we run for hours and hours and hours, and we may never even see another competitor. And here we'll have them breathing up our backs all day long. We also asked Martinson what techniques he uses on a short closed course compared to open desert racing. In short course racing, it, the most effective technique is to get to turn one first. If you can be ahead in turn one, you're going to do just fine. And then you have to play uh, de defense in short course racing because it's easier to take somebody out in a closed course such as this than it would be in the desert. And dust obviously doesn't pay, play a factor in short course racing as it does in the desert. In the desert, it's very, very hard to pass when you can't see the vehicle ahead of you. At this race, Martinson was driving his championship buggy that is outfitted with a GM Equitech engine and a customized racing suspension that he hopes will lead him to another championship this year. After a long and grueling race at the Firebird Grand Prix, Martinson and his team finished first in their class and are ready to take on another challenge. We wish Martinson and his team the best of luck as they take on some of the upcoming SCORE Baja races this year, which are sure to challenge them and the rest of these off-road warriors. For more information on off-road race events, features, or the newest products for your off-road vehicle, log on to www.offroadworld.net.